Top of the morning to you. Hey, I'm Michael Zagreck. He's calling me Rude. Thanks for being on Rude Doodles Live Tuesday morning. It's 8.57-ish, going on to 8.59-ish right now, I think. Almost 9 o'clock. Uh, had a little uh, shot there. Showtime. And then I wanted to show you a painting I did last night. It was a time lapse. Let me move some of this paper over here just for a second. Good morning. Thank you for being on the show. Here it was. This is the time lapse that I just did. Oh, great. You can see that really well, can't you? Ta-da! There it is, right there. Um, it's a piece of uh, Kilimanjaro paper, 9 by uh, 12, 100% uh, rag cotton, and you saw me draw it with uh, this pen and paint it with this brush. Uh, nope, that's not true. Uh, I painted it with um, this brush, uh, an SW5. Uh, basically, not a whole lot of difference between these two. This one's a little longer bristle. You can see that made a little different. One's made uh, extremely for all-purpose use, uh, just got a little bit of a longer give. This one is a little more point to it, and it's, uh, I'd say it's probably made for uh, uh, more calligraphy, and so I'm going to use that one this morning. Got three uh, brushes laid out here, and uh, hey, uh, thanks for all you folks who registered for the class. It starts tomorrow. If you're registered and you're at the gate and saying, hey, I can't get into the page, it's because I haven't opened up the page. Put a video on there yesterday just to say welcome. Uh, got a crazy morning coming to you, so I'm only going to be with you for half the hour this morning. So let's get busy on something, and bless you all for jumping on the show so early, so fast. Thank you for piling in already this morning. Uh, so... Uh, uh, rough and ready cornfield. So I'm glad you're rough and ready, Bob, because it's going to be rough and ready this morning. We're going to, I'm going to do this painting again so you can see me actually do this painting because um, I think one of the things that I've been working on for the class that I'm doing, the Rue Basics, is really a simple use of water too. You know, sometimes you kind of get into the thing where you go, I must have used too much water or I don't think I used enough water or I think it looks like my... Um, I colored it back in Miss Wilson's third grade class. What what am I doing wrong? I don't I don't know. And I can only guess that probably there's a combination of so many things. And you also may be too being too tough on yourself. So lighten up and just let watercolor do what watercolor does. Okay? Now, those of you who are doing fine line drawings and uh Lands even, even landscapes. I saw a landscape the other day by Julie Walden, or excuse me, it wasn't a landscape, but it was a housescape. It was a, the side of a house with some trees and just a beautiful little painting. And I saw her sketching there, but her watercolor, it just weeps across it and is just bled across it. It looks fantastic. So you have to learn to do that. This painting looked different on, on the show last night before it was dry. I, I painted that last night. I did a time lapse. Now look at it. It's all dry and, uh, the colors have just blended together in a way that you cannot get that to happen when you are uh, uh, pressing it in there with too much color or not enough water or you're trying to get too many brush strokes. Let your brush just be a tool to get water and color to your paper, okay? Don't work at it so difficultly. Lighten up. Watercolor should be fun and relaxing. If it's like playing golf all the time and you got a 75 handicap, then you're, you're being tough on yourself. Look, you know what? It takes a lot of billions of dollars to fly a rocket out of the earth. This is not rocket science. It's just watercolor painting. So get yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and join me here. I'm going to paint this again this morning, if that's okay with you. And so uh, for all the folks that piled on this morning, because I'm rolling really fast, I'm going to, I see your beautiful names here, and because you're attached to them, uh, I, uh, I appreciate, uh, I'll, um, I appreciate the comments already, and I thank you for that. And it's going to be later this morning or later today. It might even be tonight before I get back to some of these comments and just answer some of your questions if you have some. Uh, think about doing Ruse Crew that I'm going to be starting tomorrow for this five-week thing on Wednesday mornings. I'm still going to paint on Mondays. See you, Lord willing. Tuesdays, Lord willing, I'll see you. Saturdays, Wednesdays, the private page. And I'll be opening that page later sometime today. And uh, we're going to have a class there, five weeks of just basics for you people who've been sitting there thinking, you know, I think I could do this. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. You can do this. You can do this. It's right here. It's right here. We're going to connect those two things. Okay. So, uh, so here we go. Going to just scroll down through the names here this morning and say hello to you all. Boom. 
Welcome to being on the show, because I want to get moving here real fast, because I want you to see this. And I know you're thinking, oh, no, he's not going to work fast, is he? Let me show you what I have laid out, though. I have a piece of paper, and I'm going to keep this. I'm not even going to worry about this one. I'm just going to sketch another one. In fact, I'll just sketch him the opposite direction so you don't think, oh, he's copying his art that he's looking at. No, I'll just let it run rampant and see what happens. So this room is going to my right, and the next one is going to go to my left. So I'm going to paint him over here. So you got... Two roofs coming and going, so maybe they're framed that way. All right, so I'm going to move this one over. Boom. Get this out of the way. But here's why. Here's why I'm getting things out of the way a little bit, because on my desk this morning, I've taken a little block, and this is a little piece of slate that has a divot in it. It has a tiny little narrow, thin well in it. It's not very deep, but just a little divot. And I've taken some Sumi ink. Here it is right here, the Sumi black Sumi ink. Okay, and this, of course, was, uh, as a disclaimer, was sent to me from Yasatoma. They said, we want you to try this ink. We know you use a lot of ink on your show. We want you to try these brushes. And by the way, uh, I'm so grateful for that already because I've already put brushes in the mail. Some of you are getting some brushes already. Uh, a couple on the show, and there's some pens coming out. Somebody got their pen yesterday. They uh, sent me a note. So I want you to try this pen. Um, look, I've been preaching pen tail for so long, and I still love it. But this pen bleeds well, and man, does it scoot across the paper. Uh, I'll always go back and grab my uh, good sketching tool of my uh, Pentel 05 and my Pentel 07. But this is an 05. Um, it's called uh, an ext gel extreme. These, by the way, are needlepoint gel. So there's not a whole lot of difference, except I will say this. I think this pen rolls a little smoother on the paper than this pen. Sometimes, though, I like the drag of a good pen. Remember, one of the rules from Noodle Doodle Fiddle Piddle is I don't like a pen that writes faster than I think. So that's sometimes a pen will get away from you and go, oh, I didn't mean to go over there. All right. So enough rattling around. But in here, I have some ink and it's just black ink I poured in there. I mean, literally, this is not more than uh, a pencil lead thickness of depth. So there's, uh, in fact, that's too much. But I've cleared out some things here. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. And, uh, I was I, la I had a laugh to myself this morning, just had one of those great laughs uh, when I was going through some music and I was looking for some classical stuff that's uh, that's appropriate that I could play on the show without copyright infringement. Have to go back to, you know, the early 70s and get all that stuff, because if not, the Facebook and, and YouTube catch it and they shut the show down. They shut the audio off. And, and I don't I don't want to I don't want to. Uh, rain on anybody's copyright because as an artist you don't want people to steal what you know and what you have you want them to use it in the right manner so i try to do that uh but at the same time i found this uh piece uh and um I, I need to go to it here really fast and listen to this it's it's a uh, it's an orchestra piece it's been redone but i think you'll recognize it and it took me back to the 70s <laughs> And so it took me back to the 70s. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sketch it just for a second. I'm going to do what they call in radio business a nine-second nine uh, uh, needle drop. You got nine seconds of free. Listen to this and see if it reminds you of something. We're coming on the microphone like this. All right. So you remember remember those old days of, of radio where they go, hey, good morning, and welcome to Ruto's Paints. So listen to this piece of music. All right, let's, oh, you know what? I don't even know if it's hooked up yet. Let me see if it is. Hold on a second here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to pay the booster here. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. But it made me laugh. You got to admit, that was pretty funny. I kind of went, oh, my gosh, what would happen if I painted up? Uh, and it's, and Barry doesn't sing on that. You know, that's the old Barry White tune. Hey, hey, baby. And so I thought, how funny would that be, man? I'd love to just have the copyright piece on that so I could, uh, you know what? I'm going to paint this ruse leg going back here like this, like he's walking across uh, in front of the other one. All right. So notice what I've sketched there. I just randomly just look, his tail's all frizzled. His He's upside down. He's kind of going in every direction. I'm not really worried about where he's going. So, and I'm done. I painted that with this gel pen in about what? Six and a half seconds, something like that. Maybe 10 if I go back now and put all these little pieces in. So, um, then I'm just going to let the, the, the ink and the paint be the rest of it. So, that's what I'll do for some. This is a 9 by 12 
Oh, this is going to wind up being about a seven by 10 painting if you wanted to mat it and frame it. So you got this bold rooster. How do I know he's bold? Because I'm going to use bright, bold colors and I'm on 100% rag cotton. And I just stuck that pen in my finger. Okay, so, so here's what happens. The reason I'm doing this this morning is because at the bottom of the hour, I've got to go take a, uh, I've got to go go online with my son. He and I've been working on a major project, and so it gets previewed this morning before it goes out to um, the the people who will make the final decision on it. And so uh, we're running out of time. Deadline is Thursday. By the way, this project I've been working on for the last few months. Um, I'm going to post a link for you on Saturday. There'll be a private link out. The first opening premiere is Thursday night, and then uh, you'll see it. Uh, I'll get, send you the link. Some of you want to see that. It's this camp. It's a fundraising thing. I want you to know that disclaimer. And it's a, it's about a ministry that I was a part of for years ago. But I think you'll see how beautiful it is and how we've woven this together. And my son's a genius, and so his uh, brilliant editing style has come in here. And so I feel like I'm sort of in the uh, light lifter on the back going, yeah, move that over there. And, ooh, that's good. Thank you. Nice job. Oh, I didn't think of that. So that's kind of where it is. And that's what we ought to do with each other's art. And I see that happening on Ruse Crew all the time. Pat, I saw you working with a paperclip today, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, it reminded me of MacGyver. And so, you know, uh, and MacGyver, you know, the guy on the show never really made his own paper clips. I met the guy who made the paper clips behind the scene, all his little widgets, you know. He was just an actor, but not the guy behind the scene. He was the, he was the real artist that made little things that stood up. And, all right, let me get busy on this. Clean water, my paint. Let me just uh, soak these down with a little water here. Just give them a little misting right here. I hold it over here. I wouldn't normally hold it over the painting because I don't want that paint water to go anywhere. I don't want it to go, but I'm just moistening these up a little bit. Just get the pans to wake up. Say good morning to you. This is uh, fresh water to your paint in the morning is like coffee and tea to you. Wake your colors up a little bit, and let's just go with a uh, let's go with a little bigger brush today. Wait, I'll probably. Well, I should have used that painting. Right, let me do. Let me do this. This is my pen that. Uh, let me just go in here and take a little bit of this. Uh, India ink and just drift it in here just a smidgen right there. Leave some wet spots right in there just like that. I think they'll probably and uh, you know I haven't used this pen yet. Why don't I just use this brush right here to do the color on the top. There it is. This little brush comes out of here goes in the ends. This is the pen and uh, let me clean that off so I don't have it all over my shirt. Wet that a little bit and I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to dance a little water right in in there and then down his neck just a little bit. Now here's the thing. When you're when you're painting with water first, remember this rule? It's not a rule. Don't put it on like you're painting the wall with the roller. You don't want the water to all be even. That's not how rain falls. That's not natural spotting in stones and rocks in the earth. No, you want to dance your brush a little bit. So just, just kind of go in different places. Heavier water here, less water there. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can turn it a little bit so you can see a shimmer in the lights. No. Not working worth a flop today. Here, wait a minute. Watch this. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Okay, see that? Now I figured out something smart. Okay, you see those little shiny spots? That's where the water is kind of heavy. And you see the dry spots, the dull spots in between? That is where there's no water on this painting yet. And I don't want water on the whole painting. I want holidays to appear. So I haven't blanketed the whole piece with the water. Do some people wet their whole piece of watercolor, soak it in a sink, and then let it dry? Yes. If you're doing a landscape and you want your colors and sky to bleed smoothly, yes, that's a whole style. But I'm not doing that. Okay, so you see that? Now watch this right here. I'm going to put a little water right here. Watch. See how it shines out a little bit? Now watch. This is catching the black already up here from that. Wow. This is a sweet brush on the end of this pen. I like it very much. Okay, so I'm going to turn that light off. So it, uh, And then just go in there and hit a little water in there. Now I'm going to go and get my colors. They ought to be awakened by... Um, they ought to be awakened. And let me see if I can get a little music in here too. Let's, let's go for some music here. Hold on one second. Uh, now that I've got my painting wet, I still need a little classical music to paint through. Sorry, uh, Barry. Let's just go to something else here. Let's go to just a little waltz this morning. Ah!
Did I know where I was going with this painting first? No. Had no clue. Just pull some colors out that I thought would uh, look good. But watch this. I'm going to throw some water in the tail right here. Just toss a little in there with my brush. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to take up this ink block. You see it right there? All right. That's a, it is a fast waltz. Well, I'm painting fast. All right. So now I'm just going to take some of that black and just let it kind of go in there and just start to run through the painting. Look. Mix with that yellow. Mix with all that. Might even come in here and tap my brush a little bit. And just drop some black spots right in there like that. It's actually a waltz, but it's played in uh, a different time. Of course, you can tell that, right? Okay. All right. So now we slow it down a little bit. Now we got to take a little bit of time. Get the beak in here. Oh, because I wanted it to look nice. Put a little of this yellow up in there too just up in his uh, comb and then i want a little bit of a uh, just touch a little bit of this black right here and come in right behind a little shadowing here just right on the tail and then a little shadow on this leg now now what i don't have this morning is i need some orange so i'm searching my bird now i like this root i'm gonna get a little bit of orange right here look at this yellow orange see it right there i'm picking it up on this brush i'm using this brush it's just a little bit of a mop i'm gonna come down here See, I feel like this should be, this is this is the one place where I feel like I do have rhythm. I don't dance at weddings. I don't dance at uh, uh, funerals. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't dance at all. I, I'm a musician who has no bodily rhythm. I like, I can't play drums, but I can, you know, I can pick the banjo and I can do other things. I just, I just didn't have the ability to have great rhythm. Uh, but I feel like when I'm painting, uh, it's this staccato beat that I can just touch the brush to and I can direct. It's more of a baton with me. Does that sound silly? It's my style. So find your style. I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, uh, several of you say, Valerie just said, uh, music relaxes you and helps you be more creative. I think so. I think that's why uh, children are always, uh, you can you can take the temperature, the the mental temperature of your children if they're working on legos or if they're working on some project and they're going <laughs> they're humming they're building they're making i think it's just beautiful what happens when they do that okay so there's two of those dry holidays showing up that had no water in them and the colors are staying off those okay this ink is so amazingly dark and black it just seeps in and i love it so much this uh this rue needs an eye so let me go in here with this 07 pin and just go in here and just give him a nice little round eye like this right there perfect and then let me give some detail to his feet notice sometimes i know i know roosters have three toes in the front one in the back uh, i just paint mine a little differently sometimes sometimes i just do two because you know if this is theater this doesn't have to be perfect. You know, um, here's the thing. If I had this hanging on an art gallery wall and somebody came in and they said, oh, we were going to buy this lovely, beautiful rooster, but we noticed that he has two toes missing. And we just can't have him in our house. I'm going to say, seriously? Oh, well, maybe it was a lawnmower accident, you know? Or maybe a hawk came down and took one off. You don't know the rest of the story. Maybe he was born that way. God gave him a great brain and great feathers. Go on with life. See, I love having conversations like that with people. Not because I like arguing. Maybe I do. But what I really like is I like to challenge folks on what they think is good art and not so good art. And it makes me laugh uh, because we all have an opinion. I have one too. You've heard me say what I like and what I don't like. That doesn't mean that... Uh, I'm not going to carry it home sometimes. Okay, let's just go with this uh, pen again if I can find it. And here's why I'm telling you all this this morning kind of quickly because in just a few minutes, I'm going to go off the show. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, I want you to try this today. I want you to get a clean piece of paper. And uh, let me just, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw some earth down here. And I like just drawing earth by just long hatches like this, hatch marks. And then cross hatch it. 
Okay, that's just the pen. This is this extreme gel. Uh, where's my little brush I've been using? I've painted with this brush the whole way this morning. Um, this is a Yasutoma pen brush. So there's the pen on that end. Pretty doggone cool. I'll show you how it works. I'll sign it with that pen in just a second here. Now I'm just uh, let that pen bleed. And it's kind of a, it's a cross between a Payne's gray, uh, maybe a purplish blue. Can you just see what it's doing there? It's a, uh, um, he looks like my Will Summer rooster. Well, good. I, I had no idea who your Will Summer rooster is, and but take a look at this right here. So I'm putting his. Now what I do is I come back maybe with a little touch of dirty brown, maybe some real brown, not so much red. There it is right there. Come in just a tad, and then I might go in with just a little bit of this. Boy, just got to touch a little bit of this black in here for a shadow. See if I can just get a piece right there. There we go. Now you got to be careful with this black. Look at that. I just touched it and it just went game busters. Whew. All right, I'll take some of that out. Wash my brush out again. Go back in and get some of that and move it over here. All right, you can move watercolor around. You can uh, trade it. It's uh, it's like mitigating soil in Florida. Those of you who know that, hey, there used to be a, there used to be a ball field here. Well, we traded a swamp for that. And uh, All right, so... I think I need just a little bit of beauty splatters right in here. Just maybe a couple little red splatters there. Maybe a couple up in this tail. Just to highlight one red feather coming out of there like that. He's got a lot of color in him, and I kind of like that. Now I'm just going to get uh, a little bit of uh, blue in my brush here. Okay, I'm washing this brush out. And I uh, get a little blue in my brush. Just uh, um, ultramarine blue. And I want to test this first. I don't want to just flop it right down there. Okay, so that's going to be a little too much. So I'm going to dob some of that out. Dob is the right word, I think. And now I'm going to take this on my pencil, and I'm just going to roll the brush over it like this. And I'm going to touch a little, just going for a little more water there. I think they're... Oh, yeah. Guess what? I forgot I was using this brush. i got to be careful with this one. This is not going to be my splatter brush from now on. All right. Sorry about that. Let's try this one. That's That one's got the uh, portable tip on it. So let's just go in here and get this one. There we go. Just a little bit of uh, blue in the sky. Maybe just a little sweep across here like this. Look at that right there. Just sweep this brush across sideways. Just let it roll a little bit. Tie some of these spots together. Going to give me a little bit of, when that dries, going to give me a little bit of a blue tin there. And then maybe come back in and just create a little bit of uh, some grass in here like this. Let's see if I can use this to uh, to sign my name here. How would that work? All right, here we go. I think I'm going to sign it right here on the front. Man, these little brushes have such a light touch. They are so awesome. Okay? So, love my American Journey brushes for filling in little places like this. Love those uh, Yasutomo brushes. I'm going to become a fan. I, if I have it wasn't, I am now. Let me clean up a little bit. And I got just a few minutes uh, to go before I have to leave you this morning. Sorry for the short delay show. And glad you got up with me. But uh, you're up now. I'll get you another cup of coffee. Uh, be creative. And... Uh, Clean these out very carefully and don't try to ruffle them if you have these. Let the ends stay and I'll hang those up in a minute and, uh, and let them dry a little bit. Okay, so there's the roux. Uh, so what I want you to do is just start with, uh, I'm going to leave him drying on this uh, rack of paper here. This is a, uh, a watercolor block, so it's glued all the way around. And that's real important if you're using a lot of water. Okay, so... Uh, uh, basically, now I've got two roos who come to the field to meet. There's the one. Here's the second one. And uh, there they are right there. A pair. 
And they're going like, well, ain't you something? Well, ain't you something? And so I don't know what they're titled yet, but I wanted you to see how fast that can be done by just letting watercolor do its thing. You didn't see me do a lot of brushing in here. You saw me put color in and let it follow the path of least resistance to blend in and just mushroom out with the other colors. Okay? I love that mingling and that mixing. Could I do more to this rooster if I wanted to? Sure, I could come back in here and add some little pin marks in here, maybe some feather marks. I could come back in and add a few wily little hairs, pull it out from here and there. Maybe a little darkness in here, clean up that. There's lots of things that I could do. Just and But there's some things that maybe I don't want to do. Maybe I just say, hey, I'm done. I put little spurs on the back of my roosters just to prove they're roosters. Sometimes I put little uh, hair follicles on their legs and their feet like so and some grass coming up between them. And maybe this grass has gotten stepped on already, so it's bent down where he's walked on it. So there you go, West Side Story Roosters. <laughs> the roost saying, this day is mine. Uh, okay, so if you just short, join the show, I've got to run off early this morning in about two minutes from now. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a piece of paper today. I'm going to lay this over flat, maybe. I want you to get a piece of paper today, and I just want you to put on some music like, Hey, hey, the first, my last, my everything. Something fun. And I just want you to sketch a little rooster on it, okay? Just as, or a dog, or a cat, or something, a flower. Maybe you do a flower. Look, you ought to be drawing flowers the way I'm drawing roosters, okay? And so there's those big old feet on this rooster. This one's coming out like this. Um... I think I can do this in just one second here. There we go. There's the roux. And then I'm just going to lean in and I'll take my brush and I'm just going to dance some water on. And right now you can see the water I'm putting in there because it's got a little bit of ink in it and it's just kind of dirty. All right. And so I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and I'm just going to drop the yellow right there and let it run. Drop some there. I'm going to take a little bit of red, let it roll right in there. I'm going to take a little bit of this black ink and let it roll there. Watch. Watch what's happening. And it's got to have some terry tardy turquoise right there. And then I'm just going to give it some splatters here like this. And it's got to have some blue because I don't let roosters go outside my house without having a little bit of French blue on them. It's just because of who I'm married to, for heaven's sakes. If you haven't figured that out by now, um, it's Miss Geography herself. Yaya splits the globe. And so uh, that's why I do um, the blue. No, actually, we both love it very much, but she is a blue fan. The reason I wear white shirts on the show is because all my blue shirts are nice. And I have to wear them when we go out to eat. Okay. <laughs> all right. How fast is this, Rue? I did him in one minute. And I'm going to need a little bit of uh, yellow orange here to just go on the legs. Really orange legs because I reached in too much orange. But I'll add a little yellow over that. There we go right there. And then, of course, um, uh, is that too much? Yes. So let me just get rid of some of that right there. Look at that. I like kind of doing that sometimes. You just put it on there and then take it off. Um, and here we go. A little bit of uh, turquoise in the brush. And then a splatter. And a clean this up a little bit where he's got a green eye right there. And come in. And I have just painted another room. I want you to get where you can paint loose. You can always tighten up and do detail work. I want you to just have fun with your work. So there's another little rooster right there. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll see some of you tomorrow morning at 8.57 uh, for Rue Basics class. Uh, the rest of you I'll see Saturday, and I'll have a link for this video that I'm working on. Get ready to run off and be a part of that right now. Lighten up today. Take a piece of paper. Uh, sketch something on it. Add a little bit of water here and there. Maybe three pieces of paper. Three's good. Add a little bit of water and then just start letting some color flow together, okay? Just let it take over. Let it be what it needs to be. By the way, all this puddle right here, watch this. Got a little bit of turquoise in that brush. I'm just dragging it through this ink and look. Well, I'm, I'm literally just letting this brush, the weight of the brush is dragging it through. You got to admit, that is cool. All right. All right. Have a blessed day. Listen, be creative. Okay. Life is way too short. 
just to go, well, I wish I was doing something today. Grab your paintbrushes, grab your pencils, and make something happen. Maybe just do several little ones today that you can give away to people. Why do you give away art? Because you want other people to enjoy your creativeness. You want other people to have what you've made. And it's a good way to, if you're ever thinking about selling your art in the future, whether you want to or not, sell it to pay for art supplies. If you're doing that, then uh, you've got to build up an audience somehow. Have a cup of tea, have a sip of coffee, and think about texting somebody. I made a text earlier this morning about a young man that just hoped he's doing well. So I'm not telling you how good I am. I'm just saying I'm reminding you to do it too. You're already uh, hanging in there and building community with Roos Crew. So I'm out of here like a herd of turtles. I got to go today. Yes, paint outside today. That'd be great. See you Saturday morning for those of you on regular rooms.